Right now we are going to demonstrate how the tenants model works for 5.9 Cloud Security. In the very first step, let's connect to the console via a global account for a global group and the username that is assigned global admin permissions. So as you can see that's cloud domain and 5.9 user, that's current user. When you hit connect you can see all the virtual machines and uh, all the rules are accessible for modification and uh, therefore global admin has full control on the system. If you want to create new tenant with access to certain virtual machines only, you can go to tenants, hit uh, add tenant and uh, give it a name. Let's give it a test tenant name and you can add virtual machines for this tenant. Let's pick up just Windows 8 virtual machines in here and here. So yeah, as you can see, I just assigned four virtual machines for this tenant. Once I'm done, tenant appears in the list. Now you can assign users and permissions for these users for this tenant. You can go and add user and if you go and hit select you need to select a user to be used and uh, right here you can create a test user. So let's create two users one of them will have admin account and the second one will have auditor account only. So that is going to be test admin and the other user is going to be test auditor and now hit OK and now we have this users listed now let's assign users to this tenant uh, we created the just two of them. Uh, let's pick up test admin and assign him security administrator rights. As you can see, auditor uh, checkbox automatically gets enabled, so that's very important. Both of them have to be enabled for this user because he needs to see and edit uh, rules and settings. And let's uh, add another user that is going to be auditor, and we will assign auditor rights only for this user and we hit apply. So right now we just created test tenant and we've created two users that are going to access this tenant. Let's close the console and let's log in under those tenants. So we choose custom user tenant is going to be test tenant and Let's pick up the user. And you can see this user is able to see only the virtual machines assigned to him and firewall rules that apply to virtual machines. He is able to add rules and we can even try to do one of these. Let's enable outbound HTTP traffic. and this virtual machine now has this rule. So this user has access to his virtual machines only and he's able to make changes. So let's have a look at the user with auditor role only. So we are right login to the system and we pick up a uh, custom user again, test tenant, and we pick up test leader. And as you can see, this user can also view all the virtual machines. It can view all the firewall rules and the firewall rules that got created. But if you try to edit, for example, this rule and switch it to inbound and hit OK, uh, the uh, operation is stopped. So this user is not able to perform any operations, any changes. He has view rights only. Thank you, that was demonstration of tenants model in Fire and Cloud Security.